Hi guys, Anika here, and welcome back to more To the Moon. Hopefully, hopefully we'll finish it this time, in this episode. It'll be a while, it'll take a long time, but we'll do it. I forget what our motive is. Maybe we'll go in the house and see. Locked? Ugh, you can smell the squirrel in the over and over all the way from here now. Oh, oh, okay, I remember what's going on. We had just done things. Yeah, we were trying to think of what's to do. Okay. He looks like a little pistachio. <laughs> How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. To the kitchen! Why is he in there? But he's stealing... Candy canes. No, I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this info information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Uh, shh. Have a light, brah. Wait, isn't this... Where did you find it? In the lighthouse, before we started. Now for the last time, shh! Don't be a butt, Neil. No one likes butts. So, what should we do? I guess we could go to the basement. In this most creepiest place ever. Turn on the light. Do we ever look in here? Chest is locked. Maybe we'll find a way to unlock it. Herm. Is this locked? Where is the keys? Morphous air animorphs. Yeah, this room is really kind of creepy ish. Mm -hmm. It's creepy. And then the music stops, so this like makes everything worse. Where are we going to find the key to unlock this chest now? I don't suppose it's in the toilet or something. Aw, that was nice. She turned off the light before she left. Or did I? I'm not sure. Oh! But Ma, I don't, don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Okay, I'll let you sleep. Wait, was that easel always there? What is this? Dusk light? Nope. What the heck was that? What? Is that just a glitch or something? Let's... <laughs> what is this? Maybe they want me to go over here. Where are you going? Guess I'll... 
talk to her. I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Oh, was there something you want to ask? Um, Feature. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Hello, Tommy and Sarah. So are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. And... You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job, mar job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. Aw, that's... Oh, hey! Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So... Thank you. The feels are coming! They're coming! On strong. Should I go to the road and check out that squirrel? Because it's kind of a far way to walk. Maybe he's done with his phone. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little John here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta-blockers. And what luck! They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta-blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with and did in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course. <laughs> of course! There's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? 
something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we knew a childhood photo, even if we could find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job has been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise, this is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Ahem, forgot my coffee. <laughs> Beta blocker. Wouldn't this rabbit work? No, it has to be an early childhood memory, doesn't it? What? It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors! The road kill Eva! It smells! I know! It's your fault for running it over! What's going on? The children are sleeping. Wait a minute. That lost memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell! What are you two talking about? The olf... The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... What? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part? Even though John is unconscious, he'll still be susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran it over! Exactly. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um... If it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Uh, I would not want to touch a poor dead animal. I would only touch them to bury them, and I'd probably use a shovel to pick them up. Because, I mean, like, if you're wearing gloves, then you can feel it, like, squishing beneath your fingers. What? Ah! Huh. Deja vu. Deja vu? That was terrifying! <laughs> Squirrels are scary! Oh, dearies. I wonder if we'll be able to fight a squirrel. Oh, where's the poor thing? Hello. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe just to bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. At least make its odor controllable. Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. Outside? 
What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Valve container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. What is this on the ground? This... Painkillers? <gasps> oh, Neil was coming to get them! Ugh. Contain weird kill! Oh, so there's going to be some character development to put. Ho ho hum. I wonder what it could be. Now, the, my thing is with this game and the controls is that the. Oh. Oh, hey. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Neil. These painkillers. I think they are yours. Hey! May I ask why you are on them? I wasn't going to tell you, but... Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> a few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that? What can I say? I was in deep thought. You know how deeply I think. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall! was a match made in heaven, I say. Anyways, you got the roadkill, right? Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Neil. You aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose if I sink to that level of contrived mess. Bad Neil. So when we get to that exact point, I will send a signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it'd matter to a dead man. That's so... You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you're doing there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. They look like a bunch of nuts. <laughs> Act 3! They shine their lights at other lighthouses and at me. Let's go. All right, plot development. To think that this little thing is causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it into outer space. 
I suppose all we can do now is send the signal and hope. Well, ready? <laughs> Something's happening. Quick, send it again! What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong! What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out! What? Get out of his memory, now! What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding- Wait, why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this day, all of our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking- <laughs> Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the heck out of here! Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than roadkill! Dang it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Doctor? I think we're okay for now. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. Yeah! And at the last Christmas party, you! Oh. Come on. Let's go before that happens again. Um. You know I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> eh, walk. How are we to get over there? Do we interact with the soccer ball? Oh. Of course. Silly me. Here goes nothing. Wow. I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Er, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I... I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. What what was in there? People on a swing? Can't interact. 
Wow, that sounds fabulous! I know, right? You've got to take them there one a day. That's... Is... Huh. <laughs> Sheesh. The time's... The time overlaps getting out of hand. Look at how many of them there are. It's like a zoo. Mm-hmm. Eh. Go to him. Now. Ha! It looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. Yeah, it does. Eh. All thanks to this little fellow's sacrifice. I hope. What is it that you're noticing? Fill us in, please. Oh, jeez, look at the time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Scheisers! Duh! We need to go back. Now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come! Oh my gosh, you got hit by a car? I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this when he never did? Still... I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually... He didn't? Er, what? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Joey, can you hear me? Joey! Why did you hit him? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey! Wake up, Joey! Wake up! Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the better blockers, erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. 
fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the better blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. But then she takes Johnny for Joey. What about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Seems like this wasn't the only memory I liked. God, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Yo! Gosh, that's depressing. <sighs> okay, let's play on. Play on. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. <laughs> Meh. I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great! Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, RAR! 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 <laughs> and then they pick up lasers! And then it's all like, PEW! 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 Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. I'll write this coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and mom really big houses. How would you get rich if we give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay though. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? Oh, come on, I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, and the time we went fishing, and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean... We both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. Wait. In the rain? Yes, in the rain! Come on!
This is upsetting. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, you ruined it. Why can't I move? Fruits! Fresh fruits! Apples, oranges, and tomatoes! We got it all! Wait a minute. Tomatoes aren't fruits! Er, uh, yeah they are. They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes! We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? So must take it very seriously. <laughs> I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too! He just won first. He, it's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not dumpling. You know what? I'm gonna call you Dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. I have to say, between Johnny and Joey, I probably talk the most like Joey, but I act the most like Johnny. And my twin bra is all like, I'm Joey, but I talk like Johnny. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest ferris wheel! Can we ride it? Absolutely not! Does it even work? Absolutely not! Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. That can't be the smallest ferris wheel in the world. They just rode a four-seater last month. The world's fa smallest ferris wheel, everybody! Come to see and be odd! <laughs> ah, yes. Fortunes of wonder are ahead of you. This one just might become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh, my! Come on, I'm getting both of your treats. H hey, where's my tip? <laughs> uh, it's it's happy and all, but I still feel sad. What is this? Three bars of memories to proceed. Yeah, where am I gonna find ones though? Okay. Hey, is that whack a mole? Whack a what? Whack a mole! You take a mallet and whack moles! Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, stupid. It's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. <laughs> Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. Ah. Yeah, sure. Err, uh, use a mouse. Alright. Ooh, this is gonna be awesome. Ah, ah, ah. 
it's just so awesome. I've played Mac well before I suck though. No, hit the stupid things. Yeah. It's lagging, stop it. Yeah. Huh. Time's up. Let's see now. Out of 43 total target appearances, you struck 45 times and made 42 successful hits. Hey, that's pretty good! That's a 97% hit rate! It's your new record! I want to see if I can try playing with the keyboard, because that was fun. Yeah, I know there's no more memory links. Arrow keys. Oh, that's going to be a pain. What? <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> Stop! Get me out of this! This is why they say use a mouse. Uh, this sucks. No, stop! I'm gonna have like a 2% hit rate. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Let's see now. Out of 41 targets, you struck 41 times and made 18 successful hits. That's a 43% hit rate, but you've done better. I know. That was awful. Let's lie. I'm gonna pretend that never happened. Let's see what's down here. There's a horsey. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, there they are. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah! Wow. I'm done though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave the bag, I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. So, he doesn't even like pickled olives. Whoa. You can just walk through everybody. It's kind of creepy. This way. Oh, the music's dying. Something's gonna happen. He just walks off. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? That girl in the seat looks like Rin from Vocaloid. I don't know why. Oh, wow. Such a good kid. Wow. Whoa.
Well, okay, so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. Let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. <laughs> tigers don't travel in packs, you idiot. It's just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There's a hill outside the city that we'd stay at. Same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me staying up late. Grandpa always told us that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I slept. So in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories, lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm hmm Oh, Shizers, I told you a pack of tigers dwell here. Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny. What's your name? You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Just look at him. Did you know that there were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? You say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably! What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone else has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name as everyone else. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but it doesn't make them any less pretty. 
<laughs> I suppose. What do you think of those stars up there are any What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh. I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, Kangaroos, stuff like that. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things? Never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever! Let's see who makes one out first. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and stop. I see it. Er, where? In the sky. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Eh. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right? There's the two ears and head. What else? And there. There's its two feet. Yes. What else? <laughs> Sorry. And... And the moon! The moon is its big round belly. So, what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there. And they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Whack-A-Mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried. But I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? You got a... thing. I don't really know what it is. It's some kind of a weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? So strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! Eek, that's my mom calling. Here. You know what? Keep it, it's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep. Will you? Yes. 
same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget it or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny! Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. I suppose now, you know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Dang it, Eva, wait! Eva. No, you are in here. Okay. Lag, lag, lag. This is all your fault. H how is it her fault? What did she do? I don't understand. There she is. Turn around. Neil. I know what you're planning to do. I know that you know. Yeah? Well, I know that you know that I know. Look, our contract is to send him to the moon. And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means we're moving river, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died. No, we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... S forget the contract! I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva. I don't know about you, but I signed up to help freaking geezers die happy. Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. We'll appeal. We'll know that Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm not only risking losing River because I believe in her and... What do you mean, risk? You're removing her! And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it how? We're running out of time. Just trust me. This is the one who pushed me off the freaking lighthouse. What? Did you just... Freaking light data. Abusing your powers does not disable my controls entirely, Eva. Ah! Booby traps, really, Eva? Just trying to buy some time! Gee, thanks for telling me. Oh. Ah! Stop! Yeah! 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 
Those are some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. Oops. Go away. Look, don't make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk deteriorating, distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Ugh, not again. Or come and find me at the end of the hall. What? Oh, you have got to be freaking kid. Is this a game to you, Eva? Dear lord, they aren't just zombie Evas. They're zombie Evas! <laughs> oh. D don't come any closer, I'm armed! I can shoot plants. Ah, this is getting hard, why? Ah, stop! Get away from me, you zombies! Why is this so hard? Phew, <laughs> these things are good for something after all. You don't say, uh, just don't focus on the zombies, just get the fill up away! Get away from me! I can't play games. <laughs> this is absurdly more difficult than it should be. Leave me alone, zombies. I'm just mashing all my WS80 keys. Okay. Making progress. Yes. This is, whole thing is just a loop. So we go else. Oh, forget this. Thank you. Thank you, Sons. What the? <laughs> Eva, what happened? Eva... Oh... What else? Billions of white houses stuck at the far end of the sky. The whole construct's messed up. Ah, uh, this is so creepy... Uh, it's finished, Ripper. She won't be alone anymore. Uh, what is it like? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in this sea of typical people, Nick. Golly, Curtis, this is so creepy. I don't know if I want to keep checking all the rooms, though. That's the... thing that happened. I can... What?! That was scary. Oh, I can use arrow keys. This is awesome. Why does it sound different for some reason? Why couldn't they leave the music playing? What? Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny, what's your name? Oh, this is creepy. Oh. 
Look, it was a long time ago. There's no tater time, Johnny. Oh, my mouse trackpad was on, that's why everything's being all wonky. <laughs> Hello, Neil. Morpheus! What? It's Eva, you idiot! No, duh! We're the only ones here! Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. Why don't you come out now? So I have my arrow keys. <laughs> what did you do to her? Ah, she's merely going elsewhere. It's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. And just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? There's one last thing I need to do. Poser. There's no need to visualize a door. What's this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for... This. Forget it. There's no time. Everything will be alright, man. Just turn around, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, what are you- Shh. Um, hello? Sorry, kid. It's already started. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same, sheesh. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally! And all the refills are just steps away. Olives. Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find... He can always find another river meal. Well, you only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. Short steps and deep breaths, everything is all right. Chin up. into the spotlight she said i'm sad somehow without any words i just stood there
searching for an answer when this world is no more the moon is all we'll see i'll ask you to fly away with me until the stars all fall down they empty from the sky but i don't mind if you're do my words always lose their meaning what i feel what i say there's such a rift between them he said i can't really seem to read you i just stood there never know what i should do when this world is no more the moon is all we'll see i'll ask you to fly away with me He actually made it, huh? Huh, oh, sorry, but was the recording that long? Bound to have to step out at some point. So anyway, let's go back to this. You sound surprised. Whatever happened to, we always succeed because we are awesome. This isn't a success. Oh, lighten up. We're in NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's, just, uh, let's at least check this place out. I don't like this. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. <laughs> Sorry. Sheesh, he really likes his backpack. To the moon. A story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. A novel by Joey Wiles. I can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. I I don't know. I don't like this. I feel like this could have ended better. Um, is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? Um, what floor were we on?
Is this what NASA actually looks like, or is it just something they created because of the creative memory? I don't know. This is the Mission Control Center. There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I have expected to see Zordon on that screen. It's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. What's with all the secrets? Mm-hmm. Yep, not much going on. Indeed. I just saw this little thing, you know how to check it out. Nothing, of course. Ugh, I can finally articulate properly. That's the one downside of crying. So, do you think last century's moon landing was... That's not, Neil. That's not. Oh, I've ridden one of these things before, actually. And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn how you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, yes, the spinning thing. It's not here either. What are you talking about? Come well, on, we don't have long left. I actually like writing that thing though. It's like a roller coaster. Your records are excellent. We'll have to monitor your status closely in the coming sessions. Alright. Push that button. I want the real NASA has bigger elevators. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Uh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Err. Uh, you need to work on your communication skills. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. Oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed. Especially its nose at the top. When the maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. Oh, pun, 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 pun. Because the way it's set up, you can't see the very top or the very bottom. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Alright, and back to the first floor. That is a fast elevator. I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, uh, yes. A wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. It's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? And this is the break room. Here's David. He's a mission specialist. Nice to meet you. At least he got to NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it take no more it take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. 
I'm sorry I didn't find the last link then. Then. I'd hate to miss the finale. What's going on? Are we out of time? I... I don't know. Ah, and here's our other new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Uh, hello, I'm John. Phew. I almost thought she wasn't- What the heck, Eva? But you deleted her! No, I told you I just moved her. What she does with her life is still up to her. But this is but this new world is based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is still not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. Are you sure that it'd work? I wasn't. It could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take a risk, Neil. Let's just say I want this around. We still have two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny would appreciate some company. He wrote it himself, apparently. Rather repetitive, if you ask me, though. What's it called? To the moon. I like that name. Oh, there you are. You two should go get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. I want to be an astronaut too, Dad. One day, son. You just might. Blech. <laughs> Do 
Did you think that they would make it? Huh, <laughs> did you? No. The way she is, I didn't think she would succeed. But I... I guess I was wrong. All the better then, isn't it? Yes, I'm happy for them. You know, that's my brother in that shuttle. Wow! Yep, I went to write a book about this too. As a less optimistic, optimistic ending. I might have to change that after all. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah. He was the one who requested it. Did you find out why he wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And what all happened here? Let's just say it was a bunch of sappy cheese that sorted itself out. You know, there were quite a few times last night I th when I thought we lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Come on now, your colleague's waiting. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off traffic, eh? Sure, even if they were real. Well, this is it. What we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? Yes. Come on up here. Uh, why? Why not? You're just gonna push me off the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view's worth the odds. Come on. Because one day I'm going to befriend one of them.
<laughs> I'm sorry. I just I just don't really know how to describe this this was a beautiful game it was I had such a nice story such nice dialogue the music is beautiful <laughs> Here he is. Thanks. Off you go now. I still can't believe Johnny just rolled the house to Lily like that. <laughs> Who else was there to give it to? Us? Terrible place for burials, though. If there's a landslide, they'd be swimming with the fishes. Still, a little too soon. Nah, it's never soon enough. <laughs> nice new ringtone. Hello? Eva here. We're on our way. You patient? You patient. Let's roll. So yeah, that was To the Moon. Rather long. I know some people are going to complain about that. But... Yeah, that was just... Really, really just great game. I enjoyed like every... Every part of this. There is nothing to critique. 10 out of 10. This was a great game. So... Rather than keeping you around for a little bit longer so I can just talk about this game, I'm going to release you, so like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe, and all that lovely stuff, and I will hope I'll see you in the next game, and may it be as good as this. Bye! Thank you for watching!